What's up everyone? Welcome back to Train Sim World 3 and happy release day for this game. It does release today. Uh, if you pre-purchased it, you did get the early access available on the 2nd. So that is how I actually have two videos out on this game before the actual release. But, like I said, happy release day. Um, we're going to be on the southeastern high speed today. We're going to be taking a control of a class 375 night service and complete the run to Gillingham. It's only a 20 minute scenario. I figured, you know, why not we do something different today? Because, you know, I, want, I do want to get into the Cajon Pass, but I also want to kind of add in some variety here. So we're going to hop into the Class 375, and we're going to go ahead and check this out. Welcome to the last service of the night. We're currently at Rochester Junction, waiting for a late javelin to pass. When the signals are clear, proceed. Okay, I'm going to need to put on a cab light or something. There it is. Is our headlight on? believe that is a uh, headlight I'm not too certain okay so that is night running I guess so I said we're waiting on a late train which I believe is that one right there if I'm not mistaken just said to uh, wait for the signals to clear which we'll just go ahead and wait for that let's go ahead and shut that door oh okay I don't know what these okay so that's for the opposite engineer All right, we got a I got a upgrade signal now. Let's go ahead and set the reverser to forward, or the direction switch. Apply some power, and they want us there at twenty two oh four. Okay, so this is kind of like a, a subway uh, train. It's got some good up and go to it. That is for sure. So I think we will actually get there in time, I'm hoping. I, don't, I see why I don't see why we wouldn't. So we are coming up on single track territory, 29 out of a 30 mile an hour zone. It's kind of different out. Oh, so that is a door too. Interesting. So that's a door and that's a door. Interesting. I like that better over there. <laughs> Got another approach into the station, it looks like, if that is technically classified as an approach. I don't really like the uh, headlighting on this, because you can't really see it at night. Granted, you only have the two and then that one marker light. Alright, looks like we are actually coming close to where we need to stop at. We do have a stop indication. Alright, let's go ahead and stop this train. Unlock the doors on the right there. And we're going to go ahead and get up and grab a thumbnail real quick. Alright, grabbed a good look at thumbnail. I actually kind of like it. We'll see how it goes. Go ahead and lock those doors. Alright, we're going up in the chat ham now. About 0.8 miles to go. We should definitely get there before... Oh, we got an achievement. Uh, first step, TSW3. Probably for... The uh, 395 or whatever this uh, train set's called. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today so far. Like I said, it is release day for TSW3. If you guys have played it, do let me know what you guys' thoughts are on it. Um, like I said, I am somewhat looking forward to it. Um, I'm more looking forward to getting our old DLCs back. So we shall definitely see how long it takes a Dovetail to add them into TSW3. And uh, hopefully, like I said before, 
it is not a disaster like it was for TSW2. But I do have one more TSW2 video coming out. Um, it does imply with the Northeast Corridor. I don't like these speed limits, man. They just kind of hit you and you just don't know where they're coming. I really do. But yes, I will do a, a one final TSW2 video. It is actually going to be a different style. We're not actually going to be driving the train. We're actually going to be a conductor in a train and uh, I'll show you guys how we end up doing that if you guys don't know but that'll be the one final TSW2 video and then of course we'll probably hop into TSW 2020 one final time so we can kind of drive around the Metroliner cab car and the Amtrak switcher just because the Metroliner cab car is one of my all-time favorite types of cab cars and I do want to drive it once again because that was a nice addition they added into uh, TSW 2020. And then, of course, they ended up taking it away from us, which I really don't understand why they did. But they ended up doing it, so it kind of irritated me a little bit. So we will do one final video on that, or actually two videos on that. Kind of go throw back a little bit. And then, of course, after that, we'll just keep our focus on uh, TSW 3. But those videos won't be out for quite some time. We will, uh, whatchamacallit, they won't be out for quite some time. So uh, we don't have nothing to worry about just yet. Probably have them out, you know, within a few weeks or months or something. Definitely before the end of this year. Go ahead and stop here. Unlock the doors. Make sure everyone's getting off. Everyone's getting on. We actually made it on time, which is awesome. Here we are at Chatham. Go ahead and sit back in that engineer seat. So we have to actually wait until that time for us to depart because we actually are pretty early all right let's go ahead and lock those doors we do have a clear signal let us go ahead and get on going to Gillingham there we go I think we're gonna make it in time as well We will definitely make it on time, unless something happens between here and Gillingham, which I honestly doubt. But we shall definitely see. It is kind of funny, though. They did say that this was a 20-minute scenario, and, you know, it pretty much will be a 20-minute scenario. See, that's what I like about TSW versus uh, Trainsum Classic is like these scenarios, you get points no matter what. So if you drive over the speed limit, you know, you'll still get points. It just won't be as many as driving under the speed limit. Whereas in Trainsum Classic, they will literally just start eating away at your points every second that you go over the speed limit. So like it'll start at 2, then it'll go to 4, then 8, then 16, then 20 every second that you're over it just starts eating away points to the point where you can actually go within the negatives within like 30 seconds probably and that's actually one of the very stupidest things that I think they added into that game so I believe I I think I turned off career um, points because I really don't use the career scenarios too often unless of course it's a new route that just came out oh we got a stop signal coming up Definitely want to stop for that. And a 15 coming up as well. So I think we're actually following that one train that we had to wait for. If I'm not mistaken, but we do have that stop signal that we do not want to pass. Go 
Can we actually, like, change the stuff on here? No, we can't. I do see the signal. About 575 yards to go. But yes, we will definitely be taking a more in-depth look at, you know, the ICE-1 and as well as the Cone Pass. I just kind of wanted to, you know, kind of showcase off this route. Granted, it is nighttime. I didn't really think this one through. But, you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It is release day. So, uh, hopefully a lot of you guys that actually pre-purchased this are happy about it. Wait for the signal to change. It is that stop indication, so we'll go ahead and stop. And it looks like we are late right now anyway, so it's not like it really matters. Oh, there it is. It's in approach now. What I'd like to know is how to open the actual doors on each side by using one of the cab buttons. Because I see it says door release here, but that's for that side. And I don't see a door release for uh, this side. Well, there's a door close. Oh, here it is, door release. Oh man, we were really speeding going into this. That, that, that was my fault, I wasn't paying attention. But this is actually the end here. We do have marker lights on the rear, which is nice. Very cool, very cool stuff indeed. Let's actually use the... Uh, there we go. Okay, they want the doors completely locked. I don't get why. <laughs> Gillingham Depot consists of manual junctions. These will need to be set correctly before entering the depot. Please oh, everybody is off. Well, that's not, you know. So there's a whistle. And a horn. Interesting. Alright, so now we have to go to the depot. That is interesting how that announcement said that do not leave luggage unattended. Wait for signal to change. But yeah, that is interesting. It's like your luggage will be destroyed or whatever. But it's like, can they really do that if you leave luggage? Like, why would we destroy it? Why don't you put in like a lost and found or something? You know, so that people can come grab their stuff instead of just destroying it. I don't know. Each his own, I guess. We gotta wait on the stop signal here. Alright, we do have that restricting now. Stop, look, listen. Beware of trains. There's your 12 car stop. Danger. Do not touch live. Do not touch the live rail. The third rail. Yeah, man. I think we're going to the right place. I honestly have no idea. I know they said it consists of manual junctions.
but at the same time, I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to, you know, end up going the wrong way. Especially with this being at night. Granted, we're 0.6 away, and I think it's going to change to 0.5 here. Yep, there it goes. It's going down. Alright, because it doesn't say exactly what track it wants us on. It just says Gillingham Depot. Well, it wouldn't be that one, because that one actually ends right over there. Oh, we got cars waiting for the uh, train there at the Gillingham level crossing. Super, super dark out here, man. What do the destination signs say? Oh, it just says Gillingham. I think we're going on the right track. I have no idea. I can't tell. What is the hazard light? Ah, I don't know. Interesting. Is it that red light on the rear? I don't know. It looks like we're actually on the right path, I want to say. We don't want to stop it right now. We do have sand. I don't know what DRA is either. I don't know. I think we're going the... Yeah, we are going the wrong way. Sorry, I was like messing with some of the stuff here, but... Yeah, we are going the wrong way. We have to go in reverse. Turn that console light back on. Man, oh man, see what happens when you don't pay attention? You start screwing things up. I think we're actually going to have to get... I'm going to make sure the train stops. I think we actually have to go outside for this one. We don't get a flashlight or nothing. Uh... So we want to get it go to the right because it wants this track and then this one to the left. So you want to go crossing on this one for the most part. Alright, let's go ahead and get back up if we can. We'll just leave that door open. All right, now I believe we're actually going to be on the right proper track, I hope. So I want to say we are crossing those two. We're not slipping to the left. Let's just hope that I have that right. All right, we do. So let's go ahead and make sure we keep it under 15 here. So we want that to go to the right. And then that's not the track we want to be on. Nope, 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 nope. See, this is why you don't put someone who's not trained on a route on a train at night by themselves and then take it to the depot. You should just let me leave it at the station, man. We are not trained on this. Go ahead and climb down. So this one we want to the... Oh, it is to the left. Wait. So we want it to the right? Alright, so I think we're on the right track this time. So left don't mean the left track. But we're 
going back onto this track. I am so confused because now we're, we went, we set the track and now we're back onto this track. I am so confused. Okay, so this is set to the left. So now it's set on the right track. Let's go ahead and try it again. Because now it looks like it's actually set to where it's supposed to be. Then again, I have no idea. Yeah, see, that's what it was set to before. But then it took us onto that track, so I have no idea. This is where they're putting all the trains for the night. We'll go ahead and just turn off our headlights. I don't know what the difference is between day running and night running. Oh, so the headlight basically changes. Interesting. I don't get that at all, but it is what it is. We'll do that. We'll turn the auxiliary on. And the train is about to stop. Ooh. Set the DRA. Turn you off. Turn you off. Leave the train. Thank you for completing this run. Let's see how you did. Oh, I can't I can't shut the door. Oh, we hit the buffer. That's what it was. We like suddenly jolted, but we hit the buffer. <laughs> oh well. So it took us 27 minutes, 4.1 miles, and walked 416 yards. But our profile is up to level 2, this route is up to level 3, and this train set is up to level 3. Alright, so we were actually early to the second platform and then late to the third one, which, you know, we had that stop signal, so it makes sense. But that is going to go ahead and do it for this one, guys. Like I said, let me know what your guys' thoughts are about this game in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on it. Um, but, uh... But yes, so we only have 30 more points till we reach level 3, which we'll definitely get here soon. But yeah guys, that's going to go do it for this one. Take care.